Did you ever wonder why we call short-term solutions to problems Band-Aids? Years ago, Farm Aid was created by band members to aid farmers after a crisis. I don't think Band-Aids were created by farmers to aid band members. They didn't experience any crisis, as far as I know. Band-Aid is a word like Xerox and Coke in that it was a specific brand or company name that became a generic name for any product that was similar to it. Like, I'll take a Coke. What kind? Well, Pepsi, please. Or, please go make a Xerox of that on the Toshiba copier. But Band-Aid also became an accepted term for any short-term fix to a problem in the business world because that's exactly what it is like in the physical world. Its purpose is to stop the bleeding. In the business world, one applies a Band-Aid to a wounded process to also stop the bleeding of bad parts or services. Like this. Here's a wound that I received today. It's bleeding, and I'm going to place a Band-Aid on it to stop the bleeding. Now, this is where there's a big difference between what happens in the business world and what happens in the physical world. In the physical world, I'll always take the Band-Aid off after the bleeding stops because I don't like what it looks like to my customers. They could be my friends or my spouse or the family or even the mirror. In the business world, I keep the Band-Aid in place for a long time, perhaps forever, because I don't care what it looks like because my customers will never see it. I wounded my leg two weeks ago and I put a Band-Aid on it then. I did not remove it. This is what it looks like now. And this is what your ever-present Band-Aids in your company look like. What process do you have in place to remove these Band-Aids? After doing a corrective action, do you have a step that states remove the containment action or remove the Band-Aid? I doubt it. And why not? After all, you automatically remove your physical Band-Aids because they're ugly. You should have a process like that in your organization as well. I'm the wise guy, Mike Mickelwright.